So we're doing our commercial for jeans, private channelings. I guess we start with your contact information. If people want private to reserve a private channel session with you, what, what do they do? Uh, just get in touch with me on Skype or at uh, jimreiki at gmail.com. So the private sessions. Yeah, um, the private sessions seem to be so helpful. They come across with a lot of information that you wouldn't think of so, uh -huh. for your own personal use. They seem to know everybody a little bit, at least. Some of the people they know very well, mm -hmm. and they can tell them all kinds of things. So, But other people they know a little bit about, and they're, they're learning more about, and so they give them uh, good advice to move forward, and things of that nature. What would be the typical questions people ask? <clears throat> well, a lot of people want to know their vibration and if they have hybrid children, but a lot of things about work and future and things like that, and they can give some good practical advice about things for the future, but they can't tell you exactly what the future is, mm -hmm. but they can give you hints on what would be your best, best use of your talents and things of that nature. People <clears throat> talk about love? Oh, yes. Not always in every conversation, but it turns out that a lot of people are interested in asking the aliens about certain things about that and attractions that they have to other people, etc. So suppose I ask, my typical question would be, uh, where are the money? What would they answer? Oh, they have like a thousand different answers for that because each person is individual. So uh -huh. Anything that's for your higher vibration, though, they try to help you with. So. Who, uh, which beings, entities do you usually come through? Uh, mostly Takur, Lakesh, Pentium, and now Shell is coming through every now and then. And Tepet comes in with the medical advice. Uh -huh. And a lot of people ask for their spirit guides, they are coming in. Mm -hmm. And there, every now and then a spirit will come in. It's do people, can people choose and invite specific? Yes, yes, specific. sure. Being? Yeah, you can invite whoever you want. Do people ever invite <coughs> fairies and beings of that sort? Sometimes. Uh -huh. And so, and I let them, if you ask ahead of time on, on the page, like I want to speak to so-and-so, I'll ask them ahead of time and know for sure that they're going to be there. So. so how does it happen? Is it always by Skype? No, I do phone over the phone as well. But, but be if aware you, of that. If you want to call Jim's phone, that <laughs> would be a possibility, right? Right. What else do we need to know? Um, I mean, no, what, what's, what's your goal? What's your purpose? What's your intention? I just want to give out the information that is good for you through the aliens. To uh, enlighten you, help with ascension, help with your day-to-day -day life, make you happier. Um, just bring you to a better place. It's always a good thing. And a lot of the questions, uh, the answers do do that. So the aliens know how to answer a question to make you feel better about yourself. And some people just need some self-esteem, and they some people need some in, in, informed advice and things of that nature. So we invite um, Grindel, Grindel or uh, any other positive being to come through and give Jim some encouragement towards private sector. wanted to invite you to give uh, Jim encouragement and give the public encouragement to reserve private sessions. You understand the money, do you? Yeah, he... Yeah. <laughs> Just do it. Just do it. You'll, you'll be glad you did. If I come, you'll be glad you did. Anyway, I know that some other ones are good too, but I'm good. 
If you need me, I'm good. What do you want me to say? Oh, uh, are you real? <laughs> yeah, I'm real. Freedom, jeez. <laughs> Ask me if I'm real. Uh, okay. Alright, I, I gotta go. All right. I just, I wasn't expecting to come I'm here today, so talk to you later. Thank you anyway for coming. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Let's give a blessing. Oh, can you? Okay. Yeah. Look at cats. Cats are gracious. And they know how to take care of their body. Their body is so beautiful, so harmonious. They move like they dance. They move even more beautiful than they dance. They move very graciously and it's not practical actually what they do it's more like a meditation what they do they do it in a way it is intended to be looked upon with admiration so do that with your life do that with your body mm -hmm. that is very healing to move like a cat when you pay attention and when you dance for god even if nobody looks at you just you dance for god that's how you move and that's how you breathe that's how your life should be it's like the movement of also the universe moves very gracefully and very it seems like it's just moving really slow but it's flying apart and we just are so happy that there's so much more creation coming so I see the gracefulness of a cat and I love it they do so many things that are seemingly intellectual and they seem to be very spiritual but yet we just love them and take care of them and they will give us their attention that we deserve and sometimes we don't deserve it so they don't get it so we have very much love for them now I just want to thank everybody and all, all the aliens and all God and Jesus, Buddha, Confucius, Martin Luther King, all the people that come with us and support us. Thank you. We love you, Arcturians and Centurions and serious people and Andromedans. Much love to you all. Amen.